All right, so Andy Cohen is in some poo-poo. He has a lawsuit against him and Bravo because one of the Real Housewives of New York, uh, Leah McSweeney, filed a lawsuit against Bravo, against um, Andy, and she is coming out saying a lot of things about him. And I just felt like this is the right time to do this video because I've had a secret dislike, a strong dislike of Andy. And I said this on my Twitters uh, a while back ago when I believe Jason Lee of Hollywood Unlocked was trending. And I just feel like Andy Cohen, I feel like Harvey Watt, uh, Harvey Levin of TMZ, and I feel like Jason Lee of Hollywood and Locke are all the same. And I feel like they just don't like women. That's just me. But we're gonna talk about Andy Cohen in this video. That's my co-host, y'all. Don't don't mind, don't mind her. But uh, so going back to this lawsuit, Lisa is. Uh, not Lisa, Leah is saying that Andy has created a toxic workplace um, that he even offered her cocaine and um, just a whole bunch of stuff about psychological warfare because she is a former alcoholic. So prior to joining the show, she was sober. And she felt like the producers were basically manipulating her and getting close to her to make her feel comfortable with them. And then they would put her in situations where there was a lot of alcohol and like pushing her to drink and make a storyline based off of that. And... I don't know if you've watched all the other franchises like me. When they first came out, I did watch Atlanta. Then I watched New Jersey. I did watch New York for a couple of seasons. I fell off New Jersey when Caroline Manzo left. And I watched Beverly Hills. I try to watch Miami. I cannot get into Miami at all. I don't care how much... How many times they bought that show back? I can't get into it. Um, Salt Lake City, I can't get into it at all. And I think that's pretty much all of the... Oh, Potomac, of course, I watched that. But I don't know. This season may be my last season because I'm really seeing what and how they manipulate the girls to be a certain way. And I don't like the bullying on each franchise of each of at least one girl. And for Potomac, I'm feeling that with Wendy. But here's what I've noticed. Uh, that I feel like Andy Cohen is a real shady housewife that we just don't see on camera. So I believe everything Leah's saying. Okay. I feel like he has some kind of jealousy towards women. And I'll tell you why I started to feel that way because Kathy Griffin said it herself. This is what she said. People like Andy Cohen and Harvey Levin, who honestly just live to take women down, we need to speak up about. And um, I couldn't find a clip or any other receipts where she said this, but I really remember her telling, uh, I really remember her saying something to the fact that she felt like Andy was very jealous of her. He is jealous of women that he would want to be like. And she's one of those women. And that's why she felt he took the opportunity to like tear her down while she had to go through all the backlash that she was getting when she did that picture of Trump's thing that that picture you know what i'm talking about i don't want to even put it on here but after that whole fiasco and her trying to build back her career whatever was left from it she just felt like andy took that as an opportunity to really tear her tear her down and that shows his true 
character. But she said this years ago and nobody believed, listened to her because they were looking at her crazy because she did that um, picture. And so I've always listened to her. I used to watch the D-list, okay? I'm, I'm a reality TV whore. There's a lot of reality shows that I've watched that people may not have watched, but I watched them. And so Celebrity D-list, I did, uh, uh, I think the D-list or whatever Kathy Griffin was on. I watched that show. I watched every season of it. I even know her mama Maggie, rest in peace. So I've always listened to her and no one listened to her. And I just remember those things that she said about Andy. And if any, if you don't know, um, after Kathy Griffin got fired from a lot of her gigs, one of her main gigs was doing the New Year's Eve um, like ball or whatever with um, Anderson Cooper of CNN. So it was like a couple years that she had been doing it with him. And then after she got fired, guess who was her replacement? Andy. So Andy took that place and TMZ even caught him at the airport shortly after it was announced that he was going to be replacing um, Kathy Griffin. Um, one of the reporters was asking him, hey, did you at, you know, talk to Kathy about you replacing her? And he was like, who? And then he's like, Kathy Griffin, you know, who you're replacing on the New Year's Eve thing with Andy Anderson Cooper. And he was like, who, who? And then he was like, I don't know her. So what? So that clip I just showed you of Kathy Griffin going off on him was the result of that video. And that to me was just, okay, you know what? He's really proving Kathy right. But a lot of people don't remember that she said those things about him. And I saw that when I was doing my research about the current um, lawsuit that he has against him, I see that um, page six and a lot of the white media news outlets are bringing up the fact that Kathy Ben said this. And I thought that was really interesting because for so long, Andy has just been under the radar. Everybody's been thinking, yeah, ha, ha, key king with him and everything like that. And Kathy even said that she was trying to get a late night show on Bravo because she was doing the D-list and it looked like, you know, things were progressing and everything like that. And then all of a sudden that went away. Um, I think prior to the whole Trump picture thing. And she was saying that he's the first executive producer that gave him his own late night show. So that's what, so that's how watch what happens live came about because of her trying to get her own show. So she just saw him as just a shady person. And to me, looking at all of the franchise, I just see that every Real House franchise has one girl that kind of resembles Kathy's attitude, like Kathy's, um, uh, personality, I would say. And that is that strong-minded woman who cannot be controlled and manipulated. And because Kathy said that Andy is the kind of person that just want to break women down, you see that in every franchise. You've seen it with Nene. She was very vocal. She didn't back down from anybody. And then lo and behold, she got issues with Andy. Um, either, even though Lu, Luann, the, the Countess Luann or whatever, she came out and tried to defend um, Andy because Leah said that, you know, Andy offered her cocaine and that he does cocaine with, you know, certain housewives and those housewives that do cocaine with him, he kind of gives them favoritism. And so Luann, the countess, came out and said, well, she's sober and that, you know, she defended um, Andy and basically did that. But for the most part, she left the show too. 
Teresa left, but she came back because she need money, child. Um, uh, Caroline Manzo left. Caroline actually has a lawsuit herself because she went on the Ultimate Girl Trip um, show and she's claiming that she was sexually assaulted and harassed by another cast member. So that's very interesting in itself. I don't believe they um, aired her season with her being on there. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But from what I saw online, it didn't look like they have released though that season. And so that's what I'm talking about. He has all these women like who are strong-willed women who were on these franchises and it just looked like the cast members tried to break them down. Even with um, Brandy um, Blanville, you saw it with her. Um, you just saw it with all these women. I'm going to have over here all the women that you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like they were on their franchise. Everything was cool. They have a mouth on them. They're not going to, they're going to say whatever they're going to say. And you just saw episodes where the other cast members would pick on them. They would talk about them. And it just makes Leah claims that Andy has favorites. Also, I want to mention, remember when Monique Samuels was on the last reunion where the, all the women were wearing yellow? Something that Andy did during that reunion will always stay with me. And it was when Monique said that she didn't need to be on the show anymore. And Andy was like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, I don't need the little check. And if you go back and just see his face, you can tell he was really pissed off that nothing was phasing Monique at all. All the things that was happening to her, she was not phased by it and that she did not need the show. And I think that pissed off Andy even more. So I feel that makes him a real shady housewife that we just don't see. I think behind the scenes... You know, he's playing a little game and I feel like these franchises are like his Barbie dolls, okay? He has the Giselles, he has the Kenyas. Wh whoever is a Kenya in each and every single franchise where she does all the dirty work, she talks crap, she does everything. Like, she's the mean girl of the whole franchise. She's the bully. And she doesn't get reprimanded, especially during the reunion. It's like a little, you know, like not even a little tap on the hand. They just let them run loose. I don't know who it is for um, any of the other shows, but for Real Housewives of Atlanta, I can tell you it's Kenya. Kenya is his little mold, his little um, um, Barbie, okay, that goes around and just starts trouble. And she's not going to go nowhere. Giselle is on Potomac. Um, on the other shows, I don't really recall. And I feel like on Beverly Hills, sometimes I feel like it's Crystal. I don't know. I could be wrong. But uh, for the most part, each franchise has the bully girl. You let me know in the comments who you think is the bully girl in the other franchises. And you see that when he has the reunion that uh, Andy goes and I, at the beginning when they were doing reunions, he used to ask the questions. Then all of a sudden one year he went on Twitter and was like, hey, what questions do you want me to ask the girls? Because they were saying that those questions were hard. The, you know, it was like almost like really shady and hard. And he was getting backlash for the questions that he was asking. So to throw people off, he started asking Twitter for questions. And so I feel he gets the questions from Twitter and asks them questions that he would have already asked them. So those shady questions, those mean questions, he just puts it on a, a person who tweeted it and asked it instead of it coming from him. So he does little manipulating stuff and shady stuff that I feel like people are not like looking. And that's what makes me not want to watch 
the Real Housewives anymore because I just feel like it's a game that really makes it like hard to watch knowing that this could be going on in the background and that things are coming to light. You know, 2024 seems to be the year where everything that's done in the dark is going to come to light. So I feel free making this video about Andy and just those things that I've just noticed about him and that I'm like, yeah, okay, I see you, Andy. And the fact that he hired a communications guru to like help him fix his image instead of getting like a lawyer. Then he's like talking crap about Leah saying that she's lying, especially about the cocaine. I'm like, dude, you said it in your book that you liked doing cocaine. Then a year after the book came out, that's when Kathy Griffin said, just the production company that does that show, if I wanted to do blow, that he used to offer her blow every time she came to the studio. Every time be right before the show, he would ask her, hey, you want to do blow? And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. Because if you watch the D-list, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't do anything. She's not like a real Hollywood celebrity where they indulge in those things. She just doesn't do that. And so with that, I'm just like, why are you saying that Leah's a liar. But the thing is, if Kathy was lying about anything, why didn't he sue her? He never sued her for anything. He never like filed a lawsuit or even like claimed defamation with her. So a lot of the things that are coming up, I believe um, if it comes out that he's not guilty, if it comes out that he's not guilty, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to believe it. But that's just me. That's how I feel, okay, about Andy, okay? Well, one day, I'll probably go into how Harvey and Jason are the same exact way. They are mean men that go out of their way to tear women down. I don't care how gay they are or how much they try to act like they care for women and all that stuff, but no. And if you wanna know how I think Harvey Levin doesn't um, care for women, any women, I don't care if it's black, white or whatever. I believe Kathy Griffin also said, she says, look at the pictures they use on TMZ. Every picture they use of a woman, it doesn't matter who she is, it's always an unflattering picture of them. And I was just like, I used to be on TMZ almost every single day. You could not get me off of that dang website. And lo and behold, she's, she was right. And I recently went back on there to see if it's still the case. Um, because I had tweeted it on Twitter and they were like, what are you talking about? And I was like, wait a minute, let me go check on TMZ to make sure that they're still doing what I, what I said that they do. And... I saw a picture of Beyonce and it was this raggedy picture of her and it was it was not even like I wouldn't even say filtered it was it was just really bad and I'm just like Beyonce don't have bad pictures of her online and that's the picture you put up for this story so yeah so just go on TMZ look at all the stories that they do of women and you'll see what I'm talking about with that. Jason Lee, I'll say say for another time. But those men, they're all mean men. Okay? All of them. I feel that they're all mean men. So anyways, that's all I got to say about this. I will see you on the next video. Bye!